Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. Uh, and this is the weekly UFO review. Booyah. The inaugural uh, episode. <laughs> take, you know, take two. <laughs> you know what's funny is the very first time we recorded the podcast, we did the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, what happened is we recorded this and I f absolutely fucked this up. Hmm. And... I recorded a background song over OBS that I couldn't hear. That was max volume. So we we talked for about thirty minutes, and it's just <laughs> it's just our theme song on loop. Absolutely peaked. Yeah, now you gotta take a trial run, you know, on these things. Um, basically, this is gonna be a YouTube show only. Uh, we're gonna round up the best cases of the week, and then maybe at the end of the month we'll do a top five, or maybe we'll just get the Sue's the smooth sounds of Dan uh, narrating our top five of the month. Uh, but so far, this is from uh, the week of September uh, 13th to 17th. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. This first submission is from Denton, Texas, USA. Uh, these were cited September 5th. Uh, 2021, and this is, if you were so inclined to look it up, MUFON case number 117756. Let's get into it. Right now, you can see in the little preview, we've got two black dots. Uh, let's, let's, let's take a peek. All right. Okay, there we go. We're looking here. Right, sky. Portrait view. Oh, fucking nice sky. Oh, there we go. Nice orange sun sunset i'm guessing two clear uh black dots you know seeming to be traveling in perfect unison looks like they're tied with a rope like they're so like perfect. T tethered yeah uh, um i'm just gonna give it a quick pause here on the zoom in um i noticed some people in the comments uh were saying that you know perhaps these are balloons but looking at giving this a closer look i feel like we would see movement between the two like the the spacing doesn't particularly change yet they still travel like you know with the wind the balloon if they were especially helium you would see one rise it was, to me it's highly unlikely that we would see them rise and move at the same speed oh okay. yeah I, I agree Dog absolute cat battle going on. <laughs> uh, totally have pulled them apart. Um, it's highly unlikely that I think that we would see these things tethered and not like rise and fall, like to keep maintain the same distance. Like for that, you would have to have them tethered tethered with something stiff, right? Like I don't know. What do you? Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah, like uh, if that was the case, yeah, it would have to be like a like a rod, not a rope. Yeah, and if there was two balloons like let separately, like let go separately, even less likely. <laughs> even less likely, you know, they're not. And he, I guess he is zoomed in, but it doesn't seem like they're. It seems like they're bigger objects than a balloon. But All let's right. keep it going. Let's keep it going here. So we do, like I'm not seeing that gap lessen at all, and you can see the cloud backdrop that they're 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 moving. Oops. Interesting. I want him to zoom back out. Yeah, me too. Okay, here he goes. Back out a bit. They seem to be parallel the whole way. Yeah. Well, and then we're getting to the end of the video here. There we go. He like that's far. That's a far zoom. So let's pull. Let's pull it back. Um, to right around here when he first starts to zoom, and I'll see if I can pause it right when he first gets them. Like, you know, it's some distance away. It's too bad we didn't get the land in there for a. Uh, you know, for comparison, but it's some type of reference. Yeah. Um, if you're, if you're, if you ever happen to catch yourself, uh, filming a UFO and you have the wherewithal, you know, make sure you try to get something in, in frame. If it's, even if it's the, uh, you know, the building tops of the, so you can see a, the speed of this thing. Cause sometimes it's hard to gauge, but as for people saying these are balloons, ah, man, I just, I, I, it, it's not impossible that they're balloons, but they'd be, I guess, tethered, and the wind would have to be perfect. 
but I don't think so. I no. think they, I think the bottom one, if they're both the same size balloon, the bottom one would rise to meet the other one. I would think. I agree. What uh, on our on our classic scale of zero to Gimlin, uh, Gimlin being um, you know who filmed the Patterson Gimlin film as Bigfoot. So whether this is you know we're basically Un- undeniable saying, truth, undeniable truth that these are UFOs on the scale of zero to Gimlin. Uh, what are you going with, Zell? Mm, I'm going with the six. Six out the gate with the six. I mean, going that's not bad. Six. Um, this is a sh- this is a strange one for me because, um, you know, of just them staying so in tight formation. Um, the submitter of this case actually said that he basically thought these were traveling at about sixty miles per hour. Uh, and he stated it was almost like they wanted to be seen. I don't, I don't know how you get that from it, but um, I will also, I'll, you know what, I'll match you. Six out of ten on the game, game let's go. They are going sixty miles an hour. It's definitely not balloon. Yeah, and they are far away. Um, I would like this video to have been filmed landscape. Turn your camera sideways, your phone sideways for the yeah. next. Yeah, but for the next one. Yep. Awesome. Right. Well, up next. We'll start- we have uh, Idaho Springs, Colorado. You got it. Uh, USA. Uh, <laughs> this was uh, cited September fifth, uh, twenty twenty one. Again, so two, but you know, different. Um, this is described as a triangle cl- uh, craft, silent and possibly transparent. Let's uh, let's kick it off here. So you definitely see in the the little preview here. There's looks like some three dots here. He's giving us a little direction here at the circle. Yeah, that's me. It's all me, baby. <laughs> okay, we got. Right. Oh, here we come one, two, two drifting in. First look, look like satellites. Yeah, they're drifting, not moving. Where's that third one? Oh, there's a third one right there. Oh yeah, here it comes in. Now, well, look I how noticed bright that the, one got. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. The bottom one got super bright, um, and now that top left corner one seeming to get brighter. And now the last one. Around the same position. Around the same position, they all kind of seemingly reflect more light, and it just slowly drifts together. Out of frame mm. here. I think we have a zoomed in shot as well coming up here. Oh, and there's a little shooting star at the end there. Yeah, right here, a little zoomed in. All right, so I'm just going to pause it right here. So this person is saying that what he thinks this is is some sort of transparent triangular craft that is just drifting above. Idaho Springs. Uh, so he thinks that's closer than orbit. Yes, that's what he thinks, and he thinks these those are just the corner lights, and everything else is hidden behind camouflage. And it's, it's just got a predator ship here, is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. That's what he's saying. Now, I heard you mention they're going in a straight line, like kind of like a satellite. I'm, I don't know if I've ever seen a like a triangle formation like that of satellites. I'm not saying it's not possible. I've just never seen it. Yeah, usually you don't see satellites traveling together like that, I guess. But <clears throat> we have been launching a lot of satellites in the yes. last year. And with Starlink and stuff like that, we have been seeing, you know, long the long line, the tether line of uh, satellites. But I have yet to see satellite in a triangle formation like that. Um, it is interesting that they all seemingly bright up around the same position on the screen uh which means to you know to me it's like there's either a light source that they're going through um but then if it's what maybe they are then closer because what light source on uh you know on the ground at night is going to give that kind of reflection back unless it's way which would then either make me believe that it's way closer than we think or it's way further off and that's just catching the sun from i that's what I think. I think that to me, when I see these look like satellites and the fact that they hit, they brighten at the same point in the horizon makes me think like they're just catching the moonlight yeah. at, the, at the same time. I forgot about the moon. 
Well, I, I'm assuming it's a. I'm assuming. I mean, they're they're in. I'm assuming these are in orbit. They're way out there. That's what they look like. The fact that they are moving in a perfect triangle is kind of cool. And if this if this was some type of Independence Day mothership, and that's using active camouflage, but then it's like, okay, well, if you're using active camouflage because you don't want to be seen, why why light up the tips of your wings yeah. with the light? Yeah, it's strange. Um, would it change your mind if I told you that the submitter said um, that they they quite often set up their uh, Sony Aurora night vision camera on their deck, um, and they let it run by themselves to get meters and stuff like that. Um, and he has a satellite tracker map app. And sometimes when he gets these videos and he gets excited that he may have caught a UFO, he will track the satellite movement to, you know, make sure that's not what it is. And he claims, or they claim that there is no satellite shown on his satellite map app. Uh, for 9.30 p.m. Uh, on the date this was taken. No public satellites. Right. Got no some, spy, some, some spyware up there. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, do they... Well, even even Starlink satellites, are they on the satellite track wrap? I, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I mean, there's thousands of satellites up there now. Yeah. I, I, yeah, and especially because a lot of countries are are going up now and dropping satellites. Are they all like cross referencing whose satellites are where? I don't know. It's yeah. a cool video though. Interesting one. Uh, let's finish. Let's let it play off. We'll just watch this thing drift. Uh, as we're watching, what's uh, what's your thoughts on the zero to Gimlin scale, Zell? Just by those two videos, look like satellites to me. I'm going with a three. Three. Grand the Gimlin scale. Uh, I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm still the uh, the triangle formation just has me questioning some things, um, so I'm gonna give it a little higher, but not as interesting as the last one. Well, not as interesting, not as convincing for me that that's a, a bona fide aliens or UFO craft. Yep. Five. Okay. Okay. Um, let's take it to the next one here. Uh, this is from Claremont. Florida, USA. Also, the man, the fifth September fifth was a it's fucking a busy UFO, night. Uh, hotbed um, in the United States. Uh, so this was this is Mufon case one one seven seven five three. Um, these are people who said they've seen multiple lights. Um, they would travel in a straight line, uh, then disappear. Then two more lights would appear in line with the first. They were blinking multicolored. They flew by silently. Uh, when that one disappears, a third in the same spot appears and travels in. Now, my first thought just, hearing just, the in line, I'm thinking I'm thinking flight path. Now, I'm looking at this dot. These video hasn't even started yet. And I see a red and a white light. Yes, and that's pretty telling of, you know, commercial aircraft. Now, flying silently, I don't know, depends how far they were away. Maybe they couldn't hear it. Um, but let's not judge before we watch the video. Let's throw the video on right now. Uh, <laughs> the preview the preview clip's not looking good for me. It's not looking great. Um, you can see the blinking, one of the, the blinking one. Yeah. This to me, I'm like, I would immediately want to chalk this up to, you know, some side of you're you're looking at a flight path and there's some sort of airport in Claremont that obviously these things are flying to. Um, <laughs> you know, that's even, you know, that's look, those are wing tips, the front tip and the blinkers, right? Like, that's what it looks like there. I just had to quickly look it up. Red beacons are located on the top and bottom of the aircraft. Yeah. White strobe lights on the wingtips. So you're seeing the front, back, and the uh, and one wingtip. So it's flying sideways. Yeah. You're really. I, I mean, I think this is undeniable proof of a <laughs> airplane. <laughs> undeniable proof 
that we humans have conquered the the art of flight. But uh, does it, okay, we got to zoom in. That's even more telling. Yeah, I think I think maybe if you squint your eyes and you you know you you're really trying to say this isn't an airplane, you could say that you know that's a there's a circle there's a circle there maybe and that's what they're saying is that this is a sphere, but I mean. You know, we've talked about it before that maybe if there's hyper intelligent alien spacecraft, that why wouldn't they mimic our blinking lights to throw us off? But the fact that they're flying in straight lines in a pattern, it seems like, you know, here comes the 930 uh, coming in from Texas, and here comes the the 950 coming in after that. So, so that's a tough one for me. Yeah, I was looked up again. It consists of white light on the tail, green light on the right wing red light on the left wing so um the last one they claim um the last video this might be that one uh they claim that as it flew overhead all they could hear was uh whoop, 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 uh similar to a pod racer in <laughs> star wars but not quite and they could feel strong air coming from it like a helicopter as if the air was pulsating down on us. What? How far was how they're looking like the video looks like they're looking well away from them, not above them. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I start to, you know, ask quite a credibility issues on this one. Hey, if you don't if you don't really look up, up into the night sky very often and you look up and you see that multiple times, I could see you being a little tricked and be like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. You I mean, on the Gimlin scale, that's a one for me. That's a legit airplane. Oh, that's um, on the on the zero to airplane scale, baby. That's an airplane. That's a ten. That's an airplane. <laughs> that's a, that's a fucking airplane. <laughs> uh, on the zero to Gimlin, it says that's a zero for me, Doc. We're not even in this in the in the same realm. But you know, like I said, the only way to suss these kind of things out is submit them. So if you have uh, a UFO sighting, I highly encourage you. And you're like, I don't know what it is, and you have an experience to go along. Send it in because uh, maybe your sighting will encourage more people who are in the area and saw the same thing that can mm -hmm. corroborate a story that is not an airplane. So um, just because we think this one's an airplane, you know, it doesn't even mean we're right necessarily. We we're, I, I think we're just shooting for like trying to find the most logical answer so that when the most logical answer is a bona fide UFO, we're more excited about it. Or hypothetically. UFOs are using our wing navigation lights to disguise themselves so we don't think they are UFOs. If I'm going out of left field. Yeah. All right. Next one. Uh, next one is from Dover, Delaware, uh, USA. Uh, this was on September 10th, 2021. It's MUFON case, case uh, 117869. Um, look, look at the preview clip. It looks a little interesting. Uh, this one has a, a kind of a short description. I'll, I'll read. It says it was around 7 15 PM when my wife and I started to take a walk around our neighborhood. The sun was setting in the West with pink clouds in the distance. There was still blue sky left. That's when I noticed what looked like a dark pink cloud moving by itself and out of place. I stopped to look at it and asked my wife if she saw it moving. She said, yes. Then the cloud started to move slowly towards us and with a tail like a comet. Then it seemed to turn away from us with two tails. Finally, it went from reddish to black, then went into cloud cover and was gone. Mm. All right. Well, uh, the preview picture is interesting. Interesting. Well, let's get into it. Uh, definitely the preview picture. We can see there's some sort of tails, but um, let's get into the full clip here. So there's a definitely I see a black dot there. Um, looks like it's there's some clouds blowing in front of it. Kind of going in and out of view. Yeah. Um, right now I leaned to. Oh sh. You know it's tough because I'm like to me I'm like I've seen that kind of thing like it looks like a cloud shadow. Like in the sky, you know what I mean? Like I've seen that on like a dust. You can see the red hue of the of the horizon like. Sometimes the clouds light up like that on a beautiful sunset. But then at the front of it, it is much darker. It it's is like much it darker. It looks like it's solid, you know? Yeah. It's a little strange to see. 
All right, oh. now it's okay. Now we got alien squids. Now we got, yeah. Now we got dementors. Um, this is taking a turn for worse here. I'm gonna quickly pause it here for a second. Uh, you you can see like two distinct distinct Trail. trails coming off it now. Um, it, it's an interesting. Let's see this next one. Oh, the trails are even thicker on this one. Uh, yeah, thicker, and it looks like as I pause it, we definitely see the two tails at the end are 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 moving. They're slowly drifting. Whether that, uh, I I I mean, <laughs> shit, I, I've never it's, seen a cloud look like that. No, that's a weird one. It's a weird. Right? It like, looks like. There's something draped off a floating object. That's what it looks like. It looks like, you know, if that was something solid and you had like a bed sheet or some like some type of and it's dangling. It's kind of dangling on either side of it. Yeah. Now I, I know clouds can do weird shit, mm -hmm. but I mean that you know, that looks strange. I've never seen anything like that. And the fact that the submitter says like it seemed to be moving and it like leaving a trail of smoke, like a single trail that turns into two trails of smoke, um, makes me think that like even though we can't get a good perspective from these videos, that this submitter what they were seeing was this thing moving not w with the rest of the clouds, going against the grain of the airflow of, of yeah of what everything else is, even if it's just drifting slowly. But it's it's hard to tell from the video. Uh, nice zoomed in shot to wrap it up here. Really black now. Um, Almost looks like like it's maybe it's smoking. Maybe. It, it's just hard to. It's hard to get a, like a point of reference. Like it, it looks like the if that was smoking, it doesn't look like the smoke is rising above it. But it could be. It could just be from like going up behind it, kind of. Yeah. It's an interesting one because, you know, we're not seeing the typical, um, you know, fast movement. So it's it's hard. And again, because there's no frame, or, there's not a lot of frame of reference for movement when it zooms in. It's hard to see, like, is this thing just floating stationary like a cloud? Is it maybe a cloud phenomenon? Um, it's, you know, it doesn't have a lot of the stereotypical, like, UFO descriptions. It doesn't look like it, but it does look weird. Some like something's. I'm like, well, I've never seen that. Yeah, a crazy phenomenon, if nothing else. I've yeah. never seen that one. Now, zero to Gimlin. I can't see this being like a an e like an ET craft because I I guess I still I wouldn't under I guess we don't we're assuming we know what ET crafts look like. Maybe they do fucking fly alien squid crafts, <laughs> you know. Or, well, maybe this one was damaged, right? And it yeah. was, and um, you know, they were they were trying to go bend space and time right there, but they're having some issues, right? So it's just floating it's leaking, stationary and it's leaking. It's leaking element one fifteen yeah, fumes. Space juice. Everywhere. Yeah. Well, I gave the first one a six, and I like I like this one better, so I'm going with a seven point five. Seven point five. Um. See, I'm going lower with this one because. The, you know, there's all sorts of cloud phenomenon and stuff like that, and I'm. It's true. And the slow drift of the tails when you're watching them, like it, it does look like it's just the the cloud like moving in the wind. So I don't know why it's breaking apart. And I mean, now I'm also questioning. I'm like, well, why is this one so much darker? Um, again, turn it landscape so we can get a better picture of the horizon. Mm -hmm. Uh. And so we can see some other clouds because maybe like if he turns left, there's like six more of those clouds. Uh, but we don't know. But um, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a four a four out of Gimlin on this one. Four to Gimlin. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean to. Uh, While well, it's strange, I think I think we I, I'm gonna chalk it up to a cloud phenomenon. <laughs> uh, or Venus. I think it's Venus or swamp <laughs> and swamp gas. Swamp gas mixed with a weather balloon. I think. Yeah, this one's got cool points for me. Yeah, it's uh, all right. Let's get to the next and last one. Louisville, Kentucky. 
Um, USA, September 8th, 2021. This is MUFON case 117883. Um, let's... The description is, I saw a white light flying towards me with a red glowing light around it. As it went overhead, I could see an oval-shaped craft with no wings or engine noise in the middle of a red glowing light. It kept on a slow, straight path as far as I could see uh, the white light until out of sight. Ten minutes later, another flew over in the same manner. Four minutes later, another, all exactly the same shape, light, and flight path. Uh, there were no clouds in the sky as I could see. I could see stars and the crescent moon. They flew about an altitude that a small plane would fly. Uh, you know, initial thoughts of the description. You know, we talked about it on the first video or the, sorry, the uh, two videos ago. You've got a description of these lights flying in a line, t spaced out, timed out, and they're an altitude of a small plane would fly. I start to think perhaps they're planes, right? That's where I just, my brain goes to initially, yep. initially. Um, but now again, we see this, he says oval shaped craft with no wings or engine noise in the middle of the red glowing light. So, uh, you know, you gave a good description of the navigation light. So let's, uh, let's keep our eyes peeled and see if we can, uh, suss some of this out. This one, first look, it's too, Glowy looks like for yeah. lights. Almost looks it. Oh. On the left there, that's, that's a, plane. a plane. Left was a plane. There's a little bit of a plane there. Now, is this thing moving or is this his shitty I'm, camera operator here? I'm not sure. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think we're getting a. Uh, okay, get, get back up there, bud. Here we go. I think this is uh, second video now. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's moving right now, or does it? It's it's hard to see if it's him moving or if it's. We got that lens flare of all that uh, street lamps. Yeah. Have to tell. I mean, yeah, this is not better, ideal better for angle. Things. Here we go. Oh, better. here we go. Oh, and landscape. There we go. This yes. person knows what they're doing. Bravo. Um. Okay, so we got crescent moon. So we got dusk here. This video. Is showing me it, you know, that looks like Mars. Oh, is it moving though? Oh, no, that's clipping along. That's moving. Okay, never mind. That's my bad. There it goes. Good, good camera work good. here. We see we got the we got the frame of reference, so now we know it's trucking along. So he's saying there's something in the glowing. He's orb? saying there's a circular. What he could see with the eyes, and you got to remember, a lot of time with these cameras and stuff you are going to see with your eyes better than what the camera gets. So it's not like this is a 4K ultra, you know, it's probably a phone. Uh, and in low light settings, I, I mean, we've all tried to take low light videos. They don't work the best. So um, he says this is an oval shaped craft with no wings or engine noise in the middle of the red glowing light. Dude, this is a Foo Fighter. I mean, it matches the description. Let's uh, let's keep it going. Let's see what what oh. I'm flying in that straight line though. So here's one. Oh, this one looks like it's just clipping too. Uh, yeah, same. It's the same kind of flight pattern, which, you know. It does look like a plane approach. Yes. So, so that's my concern. The orange light. I mean, now he zooms out for a full, so you can see it's pretty far away. We're not seeing the the telltale blinking lights, though, right? It could be. It just could be like the current conditions. Yeah. Humidity or something. This one is this one. This one's taking a different path here. Oh. Oh. Is it stopping? Mm, never mind. I thought I was changing direction, but... So, oh, it is changing direction. It's like serpentining. Looks like it stopped there. And then... Oh. Weird. And it looks like this will be the l maybe one of the last ones. Again, coming... Oh. Okay, that is clearly... Oh, that is doing some weird stuff. 
That's a Foo Fighter. That's it. E.T. Orb. Okay, just uh, just really quickly uh, before we go to the next video, I want to... I mean, that... What I'm looking for here, when I slow this one down... Um, let's really closely watch those trees to see if it, if it's, um, no, that's what I was trying to see is if the lights in front of the trees to, to eliminate any chance that this is some sort of light being sh shined, but mm. you can see as it goes, it goes behind the trees so it's like for someone to edit this would be a like a you know wouldn't be the most impossible thing to do but that's a lot of work for you know for to to you know why if you're going to edit video t to like forge a UFO like I would make it just a little more believable like I would give it a little shape I would yeah. give it more and you can see like it definitely like the second it's behind the trees it's behind the trees and this person's trying to just trying get to get back. back in there. It, like, see, I see like a third light and one flashing. Now the one's flashing. That's a plane. That's a plane. But there's that one that's stationary that's moving around that is the question one. That other one that's stationary looks like a most likely a planet. Yes, yeah, so you definitely you're on a flight path here because there is flashing ones. Those yeah. are definitely but now I've lost the original one, though. I don't know where that I one went. I think it's gone in the sky. I think they have as well. Um, I mean, the first couple, without the flashing lights, the the glowing red orb um, had me questioning. Then it, going in the straight line, I initially thought this, this has to be some sort of plane until we get to that, what, third or fourth video where it clearly serpentines. I'm like, planes don't fly like that. Right? So that's a – what are your thoughts on it? Initially, I thought plane, but that one that serpentines and kind of goes like a weird, non-predictable pattern. And you hear – like we talk about a lot of times about the orb UFOs. You know, they might not even be like piloted craft. Maybe they're type, some type of drone. Mm -hmm. And we do hear – like you hear a lot of stories of UFOs around airports. You know, maybe they're checking out our tech or I don't know. No, that's a, a strong there's, possibility. There's definite planes there. So they're like they're on, on approach or on takeoff from an airport. Uh huh. And you see those flashing, you see those flashing lights, right? That, yeah. That like this, that, that recognizable pattern of a plane with flashing lights. Yeah. That's a cool one. Anyways, what's your uh, zero to Gimlin? What do you think? Well, if I'd rate each video, they'd be different. But that one video with the non-predictable pattern, I'm feeling I'm feeling generous today. I'm going with the another seven point five. Number seven point five. I'm going even higher uh, on the scale with an eight on Ooh. the zero to Gimlin scale. The serpentine pattern, the red glowing orb. You know, that's a that's a UFO, man. It's a pretty good one. Um, anyways, that's the UFO roundup of the week. Uh, we'll be back next week uh, with some more UFO reviews. Until then, you can follow us on Twitter. Truth is out there. Follow us on Instagram. Support the show on Patreon. Join our Facebook community, AlienTheorist.com. We got all sorts of uh, merch and stuff. And if you want to listen to our podcast, search Alien Theorist Theorizing wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. And keep those eyes on the skies. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.